Hello everyone, welcome to the IchimokuCharts.com daily analysis for the Euro US dollar FX for Tuesday, July the 14th. Well, another indecisive candle today. We have a very small uh, body, a small red body, and the body is even smaller than the previous day. Now, what we've seen over the last three days is the size of the body has been decreasing and decreasing. Now this is a spinning top candle, another indecisive candle and it means um, a lot of indecision in this market. The market's uh, found support at the top of the Kumo and it's found support at the top of the Kumo on quite a few occasions. The market traded down to the top of the Kumo, traded up from it, tried to trade down into the Kumo, found buyers coming in, traded into there again, found buyers coming in, traded in there again and found buyers. So the Kumo here is acting as a very, very strong area of support for this market. Uh, the only problem is, if we uh, want to use that support as an area to go long, we've got very, very strong overhead resistance as well. So all of this highlighted yellow area is a very large zone of resistance. And then above we can just see the top of this uh, light brown area and that's another large zone of resistance. So if this market does appreciate it's going to meet a lot of resistance. We can also see here that there was price rejection down here in this area as well and now selling coming in as the market tried to, to even trade up around there. Not the sort of market that's uh, a good trading market at the moment, uh, congesting and, and um, we can see that we're just trading up above the cloud or the Kumo which means that the market still has some um, overall uh, bullish bias to it but we're trading just down below the Kijunsen and the Tenkensen and uh, that means that the market is slightly negative but all um, confusing signals from the Ichimoku charts and a lot of indecision in this market so bounded by this upper resistance and this uh, support here at the bottom. Mm -hmm.